All right, guys. It is time. Let's uh, let me set this up here so this actually shows the game. There we go. <clears throat> there it is. Okay, so my I have some questions. Lednor, welcome in. <clears throat> Zing, welcome in. Um, it's showing I have all DLCs. Good morning, Scorpio. Welcome in as well. It's showing I have all DLCs, but I feel like the only map I can choose is this map. Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe there's... Or, wait, here we go. So, I don't know if there's like a tutorial, but I need to probably start with, uh... <clears throat> What's the first map that was made? Is it the valley? Oh, what's up, guys? Victor, welcome in. Milioth, welcome in. So, yeah, what's up W, welcome in. It's the bog. The bog is the first map ever. Okay, I need to find this out because where is the tutorial at? Another thing is, um, I'm on a PS4 controller, guys. And um, yeah, it's showing Xbox controls, which is kind of tripping me out right now. Ha, ah, there we go, button tutorial. Okay, let me just enter full screen here. Let me actually like bump this to native. Okay. Wow, dude, this is crazy. Wait, where's that at? PS4 icons glyphs. Where's that at? You can change this with a mod? Really? How do I do that? Yeah, how do I do that? Is it single, single player? Then it's what? Is it like mod? Manage mods? Right? I mean, I'm glad I have people that know this stuff. <laughs> I think this is a manual install. No, is it really? Maybe we'll just play the tutorial for now. <clears throat> What's up, Akimono? Welcome in. Oh, they got this little side side box. I kind of like how they do that. That was a legacy. Now switch. Let's drive. Let's go. Oh, this feels good. This feels what? Engage all wheel drive, differential locking. Copy that. This is Mudrunner. <clears throat> oh, we got a new truck. Now approach another truck. You can switch between trucks you unlocked. Drive closer to the truck. Got it. Now let's switch to truck. So enter the advanced mode. Change truck option. Oh, dude, let's go. It doesn't release part you keep driving to along the road. Okay, cool. So it doesn't have diff. Dude, let's the pike. Dude, I'm gonna be real. 
I like how these trucks look in this game much better than SnowRunner. Is that weird to say? Each truck in Mudrunner is equipped with a winch and you can attach to nearby trees using the quick winch, okay? Okay. What's up, Prizzy? Welcome in. They also feel better to you. Yeah, they do. Dude, this is awesome. I like this a lot. I kind of, I definitely wish it was PS4 controls. I don't feel like doing a manual install. If anybody knows like an actual just mod that you just like download, plug and play, or if no, anyone knows how to walk me through the, the actual install, I can, I'll do it. But other than that, you have the garage. Where you can install add-ons, trailers, your truck can also be rescued and brought back to the garage if you're playing casual mode. Okay, to access the garage, you must first unlock access to it by delivering four garage points. Someone has already delivered three points to the garage. Because your truck has one point... I don't understand that. I don't really understand that. But, okay. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, I see. Cyrax, welcome in. Good to see you. Done. Your truck gets fully repaired when you visit the garage and lock gets refueled, okay, for only up to 200 liters. Wow. The aim of the game is to deliver logs and lumber. So now let's just install an add-on that carries logs. <clears throat> Log carriage. Drive to the log station. Let's go. Parking brake. Turn up my vol volume a little bit here. I honestly like. I know that Snowrunner looks more vivid. Actually, I don't even know, man. Like this looks great. I think this looks better than Snowrunner. Maybe not like the terrain, like deformation. Like even, like honestly, like I think it almost looks as good. <laughs> I think the trucks look better. You can load up your truck, different types of logs, different amounts of points. Our current truck can be loaded with short logs. It is Mudrunner shorties. Okay, so hold. Boom. Now let's proceed to destination and find lumber mill. Okay, cool. Lumber mill. The mud globs are a little weird, yeah. Yeah, that's the only, only thing kind of a little weird. I can, like, feel the vibration of the controller. It's cool. Oh, yeah, that graphic mod. I heard about that, Victor. Yeah, shorty's on the flatbed. It's kind of nice, right? This is awesome. Both are manual installs. Wait, I mean, if someone can walk me through it, I'll do it. I'm not super good with manual installs in this game. Uh, I can't even switch gearboxes. Another thing I don't like about the gearbox is uh, all the shifting is from my... What's it called? My right stick. Now, usually it's, it's right stick then d-pad but that's okay but remember this would only be two of eight points to the ground in the real game okay turn to main menu <clears throat> okay yeah if he can later it's fine but i mean for now i'll be all right okay so do not do not do not do not now, how do I go to the actual map? Uh, no.
I forget where it was. If I keep if I hit that word, where did I go back to? Oops. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to find the first map. <clears throat> the graphics mod you use is a, is a nice installer, not really manual. <laughs> the music in the menu hits, yeah. The first two maps are DLC. <clears throat> but what was I? I just, I looked at the other maps a second ago. Choose map. There we go. So the first map that ever came out in SnowRunner, or, or Mud, Mudrunner, what was it? Was it the valley or was it the bog? I think someone said it was the bog. The bog? Okay, we're choosing the bog then. Oh, here we go. Valley's DLC. Okay, yeah, I see that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna play casual. I don't, I don't know the game, or I'd play hard, hard mode or hardcore. Can recover in unlocked in garages. Damage a truck doesn't change its parameters. Consumption is lower. Okay, I'm just gonna play casual for now. Um, with trucks. Oh, we can choose, guys? Should I just keep the ones that are on here currently? I kinda... Okay, I'm gonna keep the Scout. The C-375. Maybe I'll keep the, three, the 375, right? Should I just keep the 375? The B, the B1, oh, 131. This is a. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna start with what I got. What I got. Yeah, I think they're tr they're fine too. I see the 605R. Yeah, I see it too. Um, <clears throat> I like those tires. Those are legit. Wait, where's the Scout? Should I re-roll Scout first, right? How in the world do I switch trucks here? Finally some mud runner. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, I guess, where does it, can I help get points here? Lumber mill watch points. I guess I need to get to the garage, I'm guessing. Oh, I can't actually put like checkpoints down. That little scout's going to struggle. Oh, yikes. <clears throat> Wait, should I, should I get a different truck then? Oh, wait, so I need points of points of cargo. So does that mean if I go to the lumber mill and then I take stuff to the garage? You can put checkpoints. Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, it's left click. I don't know how we're going to do guys. Honestly, um, if the scout struggles, then I'm just going to jump in another truck. So... Scout trailer, let me see. One's garage point. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, so here's, here's like my issue. My only, oh. 
Oh, dude, what is going on? I can't even... Oh, wait. Gotcha. Okay. I see. I see what's going on here. If you add on start start empty, okay. Oh, that was a branch. <clears throat> okay. All right. Cool. I'm not really good at switching gears, by the way. So. I think this is pretty sweet though, guys. Yeah, I think it's just basically first gear. I don't know if I can even get out of... This is a sick... I like this game. There we go. You have to be fast on switching and it's kind of... I'll get used to it. Gearbox is kind of iffy, but... Ooh, can I do some shortcuts here? No, we'll just take the road. They're like stumps in SnowRunner. I think I like... <clears throat> this seems more realistic. Honestly, like a more realistic, like... I don't know, I feel... I can already tell I like the driving a lot better. I like the way that the trucks feel, I guess. I don't know. I'm not just throwing it, throwing myself overboard. It is an autonomous for scouts. Okay, I'll remember that. Stay off this road a little bit. I'm not sure if it's like the fine tune. I think it's honestly. So I think it's the same engine, but I, I, honestly, I feel like they need to go back to this. Like I don't know. Like I don't know about you guys, but the car looks good. Like, dude, what do you guys think? Like, it actually looks pretty good. I know, like, the graphics mod is, is legit, but... It's SnowRunner for hardcore players. Honestly, I, I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm digging it, man. Glad to see y'all in here today. If I haven't, uh, if I haven't said hello, I'm sorry. I'm kind of like immersed into uh, <laughs> what's going on here, so I apologize. But good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, wherever you're at. I'm not gonna just flow through all this stuff. Um, did I go the wrong way? Ah, uh, there's a watch point up here somewhere. Yeah, it'll be inter interesting if they join today. I don't know, SD1 might, we might see an appearance from SD1 today. I think so. Racer, it... Honestly, from playing a little bit, I only played 21 hours of Expeditions, but like from what I've played, I feel as though the trucks kind of seem like this-ish. It has proper multiplayer. Yeah, you're, you're probably right about that too. Okay, so I need to head northbound so I can see the compass. Basically, I just need to go north. <coughs> Man, I got my wife sick. How about that, guys? Not, not good. She's all sick now. So we're like, I'm kind of like at the, the tail end of it. I almost wonder if I had COVID or I do have COVID. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> all right, junction. Watch points here. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Expeditions kind of feels a little bit more like this. Okay, here's some nice, dude. Here's a nice little watchtower. Our first watchtower. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. What just happened? Something happened. 
Okay. Um. Oh, I can zoom in. <sighs> Man. And then I think I'm going to go this way to get this watchtower. Head up to the garage, go to the fuel station. Also, when you zoom into the map, you can see how deep the water is at crossing point. What? They have that too? Good stuff, Canuck. Welcome in. That's cool. <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, this game was ahead of its time. Like, why do they, why do they stray? Am I, am I, am I stupid or is that, is that a dumb take or is that, uh, oh no. Have to be quick with it, you know what I'm saying? You rather like its graphics? Honestly, it does. I mean, I, I like how it's not like super vibrant, actually. Like it's a fall. Like right now, it seems like it's fall. Gloomy day, basically Ohio. Am <laughs> I finding the field of view restrictive? A little bit. A little bit. That's the only th thing that's kind of tripping me out. Is the field of view is a little bit narrow for my liking, but that's okay. You can't really like up the field of view, I don't think, unless you have a mod. So it's, it's fine though. Uh, I guess we just follow this. Yeah, I'll just follow this this road. I know I'm kind of like scrolling in and out. It's because I'm messing around with my, my stick. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit better here. <clears throat> Doesn't share the tire deflation mechanics. There's the watchtower, I think. This is awesome. This is awesome. I like this a lot. I don't know about the tire deflation. I don't know if I can do that yet. Better hardware support. Closer to the watch points. We are here. Let's go. It's not available in this game. So it, what is it? Just spin tires? Log station. Uh, you know what? I wonder. I'm actually going to go back the way I came. Go up through here. And then I think, I don't know. Yeah, we'll go back th that way. I won't worry about all this stuff over here yet. Let's see if, oh nice, there's some trucks over here to K7. Okay. I think, the uh, only thing is like, Where's the jams? But I understand. I'm spinning like crazy right now. That's alright. Alright, cool. We're good. <clears throat> I like that this... That, uh... This game is more focused on like a slow pace. It's not slam high gear because like you would never do that <laughs> in like real off-roading in this type of scenario like let's let's say that realistically you would never I like it <clears throat> I'm probably gonna say that a lot <laughs> uh, and now I think I have to head northbound Yes, that's actually straight ahead. Uh, yeah, I 
guess, um, sure. Yeah, we'll just head north. Goes, but we're gonna follow it and may potentially make a left hand turn here. Oh, never mind, it already turns left. Good. I'm liking this map a lot too. I, I actually I like the eeriness of it. It's very, very odd, but I do like it a lot. Yo, expert hunter, thank you for that prime sub. Welcome in, man. Enjoy no ads. Oh, I'm at the fuel station already? I'm about to be at the garage too? Alright, we'll go discover these three things and then I'll just jump back in my other trucks. I'm not sure what I do with those other trucks, but we'll uh Yeah, we'll do that. Fuel station. Does that like automatically fuel me? Or I don't know what just happened. Okay. Gotcha, the menu pops up. <clears throat> gotcha, gotcha, okay. Discover the garage. I think I have one point of garage or what is it called? Like points? I can like throw off here. More garage points required. No. Okay, more garage points required. I think the SR I think the SR um, UI is pretty good. <clears throat> I found it to be pretty good. The controls of the SnowRunner and is okay. I think there's a couple things I don't like about the SnowRunner interface, but I think for the most point, the SnowRunner interface is definitely an improvement. But oh, yikes! I'm in compass. Okay, so... Um, do I discover this watch point? I'm, I'm kind of guessing I should do that. Um, where's the route to it? I'm actually just gonna come back to the garage this way. It's kind of the way I know. And then... Here, through here, and then I think watch points there. <clears throat> What's up, Dave? Welcome in. It's a compass that doesn't point north. Maybe use another truck now? Yeah, we can. Guess we can do that. Let me, uh, let me get this back. Garage, I guess. Whoa. Yeah, we're playing Mudrunner finally. What's up, man? Welcome in district. Alright, let's turn this off. Oh, the D535. That's a big old truck. We know that. Alright, hold to change. Okay, so what do I need to unlock the garage? Two, okay, two garage points. I need four garage points, right? <clears throat> so. I need four garage points. So it's a garage. I need this. Carries the, the trailer. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Wait, no, 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 no. Install. The garage semi is what I need. Wait, I need a trailer hitch? 
How do I attach a trailer hitch? How do I need a how do I get a saddle? Oh wait, here we go. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'll look it up. Okay. Oh my, let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Rolling now, boys. I'm stuck on something. I'm stuck on something. Stuck on something here. Oh, wait. Wait, what? How do I? That works. That works, that works, that works, okay. How do I release winch? Oh, I have to actually do that, okay. That makes sense. Alright, cool, we're we're good. <clears throat> Alright, we're good. Twenty minutes and he's already going low saddle action. This is great. This is great. Oh man, um, my fuel is not looking good. I might, yeah, we gotta save some fuel here. Actually, let's just try to get there. How about that? You know, it feels as if this cargo is so much more heavy than it needs to run it. Oh, it feels so much heavier. Okay, I'm going to stop. Engine here. Parking brake. Oh, uh, let's see. How do I take these off? Okay, cool. Garage. Boom. <clears throat> the tra this trailer will not glide? Your suggestion is open other rigs? <clears throat> okay. I think what I'll do is, District, I'll use this truck here to go open this truck at the K700. Well, there's a D535. Ooh. I'll just see how far I can get here with fuel. <clears throat> Some will have a fuel tank on them. Okay. Wait, does this recenter? Wait, I don't know if the, the steering recenters. I don't think it does. Is there a setting to make those the steering recenter? Because it doesn't recenter. I mean, it's fine, but. I feel like I've heard this sound in SnowRunner before, like the the one sound. But let's go, baby. Not messing around. This is awesome. This is seriously awesome. I think this looks better than SnowRunner. This looks much better than SnowRunner. I don't know, in my opinion. Fuel coming empty? Wow. That's crazy. 
right. <clears throat> Sounds like the Vorn AE. Vorn AE, but with the Azov higher RPM. Yeah, that's kind of how it does sound. Nice, dude. Okay, I'm gonna kick it out of diff, or I'm gonna kick it leave diff in and just leave this on. Save some fuel here while we're on some good roads. This line V16, maybe, honestly, maybe. Actually, it kind of sounds like the West Line B16. A velocity. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure. Oh, I can see my distance to target. Next target. Okay, I'm gonna slap off all wheel drive. We're, gonna, we're on dirt road, so diff lock's fine. <clears throat> uh, maybe not. I wonder if I can take like a picture. Is there like a photo mode? Oh, dude, this is craziness. How do you change change the time? You can't change time? I don't think you can, can you? Skip skip night. Here we go. Here we go. One second, y'all. I'm gonna take a little quick photo here. Yeah, I'm playing casual. Because I just haven't played it. Wait, no. I want to do this. Sorry, guys. Native. There we go. What? Skipping night costs fuel? Does it really? What? Even though I kind of like that. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, I'm actually gonna pull out of this bog. I'll drive off. Let's do a little bit of this. Okay, let's do a little bit of this. Give myself an angle. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you don't read things, right? I think I'll make it. I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, my shifting sucks. Oh my gosh, my shifting is terrible. Here we go. Let me get on some decent ground here. Or maybe not. You definitely cannot just like throw speed in. Can I stand without it? Okay, let's see if I can just roll without. Maybe not. I need to actually keep some type of speed. What's up, Offset? Welcome in. <clears throat> yeah, Mudrunner today. 
I think we're gonna do a little bit of Mud Runner today, and then I'm gonna do some World War World of Warships here. Uh, here later, to be honest, we're gonna, we're gonna start mixing it up. I'm enjoying this, man. I think I think the trucks look better on this in this game, to be quite honest. If I may speak so, after 4,000 hours, you know, 43, almost 4,400 hours of, of SnowRunner, I think this looks this truck looks better than was it the Voron AE and SnowRunner. Maybe not the mud like attached to its wheels, but that's okay. I do think it's very very. Man, this is ahead of its time. I'm gonna say that. <clears throat> this game was ahead of its time. I kinda wish that I wasn't, like, immersed in, like, World of Warcraft, World of Warships, if back in 2017. I, I would have been all over this. SR trucks in this look, look great. It's awesome. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably just going to stick to the ones in this game, though. I feel like I have so many to try. Oh, yeah, that's right, the graphic mod. Yeah, um... District, I have another question for you. Is there a... Is there a mod that allows you to have, like... PlayStation... Controls? Because I have a PlayStation controller, but I'm seeing Xbox right now. This is craziness. I'm gonna run out, run out of fuel. It's okay though. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't hit this tree. Actually, I can't hit this tree because I can knock over trees in this game, I thought. Let's go. You trying to get to the work, you never got to work? Yeah, that's the, oh, that's one of the only things, dude. I don't, I doubt I'm going to make it to the garage, but we're going to get pretty close. We're gonna get pretty close. Good thing I'm on like a lighter road here. <clears throat> My wonder is why the tires don't roll out the center on this truck, but on the scout, it seems like they do. It's just odd. Running it down right now, guys. Could this be the move? Could this be like the snow runner replacement for me? Dude, I made it. Let's go. You do sense a co op. <laughs> Honestly, man, this this game feels a lot better. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, it feels it feels good. It's crazy though. Yo, quiet hour. Welcome in. Let's go, baby. The bog settler. Wait till I get the so-called Mastodon. Oh man. Well, we're going to go back to this truck here. My B131. And then I'm actually going to go try to discover some trucks. That scared you? Uh, yeah, we're going to go try to discover some trucks here. So we'll go like this, this, this. Pop up to my dude here. Oh. Go up to the, the uh, 4320. We'll come down and get the, the K700. 
I'll probably try to either switch to one of these trucks, come up here, fuel station, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll take my scout and go discover these up here so I'm not like too spread out. You're awake now? <clears throat> this truck is the king. All right, let's 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 go see it then. All right, here we go. Um, I'm wondering if, do I do, I might make this, should I make this like a, uh, like a, a fuel, a refueler or no? What should I do here? I want to say I'm going to do, I could make this a beastie refueling apparatus here. Keep it a logger. Okay, so just standard logging. Okay. Shorties. So short logs. Yes, I have the American DLC. So district short logs then. Or should I go for like a log? Okay. Cool. Wow, looks good. Looks good. All right. Wow. I have to get out of the garage before I can actually change. Yep. All right, let's go. Oh, I can do mediums too? Okay, nice. Dude, this looks sweet. Guys, we're doing it. Honestly, the detail, the detail is on this truck. Like, look at the bed, like the scratches and stuff. Like, this looks good, man. I don't know. I don't know. Like, this looks really good. Make sure to switch to the scout then skip tonight. Oh, okay. Feels grungier, muddier, harder work. Yeah, I think I think it does too. I think the feeling of it is not. I like the slow pace grind. <clears throat> like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't like how you can just slam gears and just punch through SnowRunner. Like, in a lot of places, just. I like how you have to kind of. Yeah. The terrain doesn't allow you just to just speed through. Frame suspension flex, yeah. You will almost not roll when you think you will, really? Is that just because the trucks are more weighted in the it seems like they're just more weighted. Wow. Dude, the Voron D. This looks like the Voron D. Kind of no. This looks like the uh the AE, kind of, yeah. Oh, he's a long logger. Okay, so I think I might just continue. I might just continue with the same truck I'm in. So, yeah. But hold on, I need to actually probably get in this truck, right? To actually find it. Yeah. I love that little animatic. Or Whoa, dude. The little cinematic where it comes off. Man, that's a... Like, look at this thing. Oh, that's mediums? Oh, longs are a different attachment. Okay. Yeah, it's it's much less arcadey. Okay, so that's on. Change truck. I'm just going to get out of here. Actually, wait a second. I need to stop engine here. We're going to head down here to the left. Go get the K700. We know what the K700 is, so we'll go get him. Um, and then we'll head northbound. My, my shifting sucks. It's because I'm used to shifting all like clutch, clutch in with right stick, and then I go. Oh, you know what? I can just leave it like this. 
<clears throat> I don't have to change my camera. So camera is right stick, but if you press in right stick, it activates your, your gearbox. Okay, I got it. I wish it was exactly like SnowRunner with the controls. I'd be so much better off, but it's fine. You think it needs more color? I think the setting right now is like, it's like fall. Things are starting to die off. I don't know, I like it a lot. I don't know, just me. I like it. There it is. There she is. I kind of like. I kind of like it. It just looks. It's like that. that. There she is. There's the uh, the old beast. There she is. All right, here we're here now. We're gonna head up uh, this way. I don't think I can cross that. <clears throat> and then I probably can like go like this. This I might be able to cross through here. I think here, here, here. This is probably bogged out like crazy. Fuel station. Continue northbound. I might be able to squeeze up through here, I'm guessing. And then I guess we'll just hit this road. Uh, wow, okay, that's right. You found one that worked perfectly? PSX buttons interface for Mudrunner on Nexus mods, okay. Wait, do you hear the K700's turbo? Okay, sweet. Maybe I'll maybe I might install those next time. I don't know. I think I'm I guess I'm okay right now with uh with everything. Yeah, I think I'm okay right now. It's not like the the interface is not like killing me. I'm kind of getting getting the use of it, but I I definitely want to switch over. Spin tires had it, it was even better. Wow. I need to overwrite the, the DD files. Ooh. Gosh, am I gonna drown here? Dude, this is uh Oh dude, this is great. Dude, this is great. This is a great space to start. <clears throat> yeah, it is a shame you can't buy spin tires. I would actually like to play it. Okay, so I think I can squeeze through. Yeah, I think I can squeeze through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. B one one three one. Let's go. Five damage. Expected. No. Nice. <clears throat> Sweet. I like the gearboxes already. I'm gonna say that straight up. What's up, Navin? Welcome in. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that's right. You can run run over tree stumps, right? They will not hurt you as much. Oh, that's that's a good. That's a that's a good sign. That's always a good sign. Oh, it's actually pretty muddy here. Mushrooms. Just 
Uh, we'll offer some trees. Snowrunner, I'd never be able to do this. This is great, man. This is great. <laughs> Beast's new favorite game. I'm gonna be real, man. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. <clears throat> I'm actually enjoying it a lot. I like the add-ons. They, they, they seem more, like, realistic. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh... I understand, like, the terrain deformation is just probably not as, as advanced as, like, SnowRunner. Could you imagine like these, like the way these trucks look? Because they look, they look better than in this game than Snowrunner. I, I think they do. Um, if you can imagine that, and then like the Snowrunner deformation, be great. What's up, Nurgle? Nurgle, welcome in. Uh, what do I gotta do here? Stop. No add-ons with fuel capacity installed. Truck automatically refueled. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. Nice. 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 All right. Uh, slip through the trees, I'm guessing. Yeah, through the trees and then... Okay. Oh yeah, I feel like we always complain about SnowRunner. I don't know, for me, man, like, I know I know a lot of folks, they love SnowRunner because you can just kind of, like, fly, right? And that's totally okay, but man, it feels good to just kind of, like, slow things down. Like, watch the suspension roll, listen to the sound of the suspension hit. I don't know. This game, this game just feels so ahead of its time. Like, it doesn't feel that far off from SnowRunner. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, on Vanilla, you only do logs. Isn't there a mod that makes it so, like, basically the logs are, like, different types of cargo? Is that kind of something? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh my goodness, I almost fell off that bridge. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, but there's a dip, I see. There is a dip. <laughs> Logging gets very tiring. Okay, so I need to make this... Actually, do I? I guess I will make this right-hand turn. We'll hit it up through here, here... Yeah, all these guys are here. The log kiosk. Wow, I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah, I think at some point we might just look at like putting a mod with like, uh, you know, like more more cargo and stuff. But for now, for now, I'm just enjoying it for what it is in its native native form. Probably don't need all-wheel drive for now. Mods, you sell boats, barges, drive trains, pull cars, track vehicles. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. I don't know, man. It feels... The suspension's like feels really nice, man. The truck is not like wobbling. You can see the suspension like taking most like the shock. But you can still see the like the truck actually like vibrating from just hitting things. Different cargo that we have here on SnowRunner. Oh, okay. I probably could like shift out of out of this gear and go to go to auto. I don't know, I'm just liking cruising around like this. Alright, here's some big trucks coming up. 
there's the uh that looks like the 605R D535 you can use SR trucks and scouts and MR2 yeah I heard about that look at this thing look at that salamander doesn't look like a salamander you know what I'm saying? Like, look at his face. That's a face only a mother could love right there. This looks like a salamander, like a frog or something, right? Okay. Change truck. Wow. Oh. <clears throat> Yo. 605R. Look at the frame flex. Yeah. I think the tarp's a sweet idea. Yeah. Look at this thing, man. Like, it looks very rustic looking. Tires look sweet, dude. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully you can. But like the definition, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like swinging too much. Alright, let's go get this other one. Ah, uh, where's he at? It's here. Yeah. Dude, we're acquiring trucks like crazy. Okay, we're gonna switch to this guy now. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to understand what I need to do. First, I need to probably get this watch point, right? <clears throat> Should I go, like... Where are, like, the missions? Hints? Drive to log kiosk. You're right, it looks great, and you're driving 605R or not? I can't I was just comparing. Yeah, it looks good. Game objectives, eight load points to each lumber mill. Oh. Okay. So I need to effectively Yikes, man. So I is it, um, it's a lot. Okay. I wonder if I should go back to the garage and like reconfigure some trucks for like fuel. Do you know what I'm saying? Just so I have some fuel. Okay, I, I think I need to do something like that. I might use this truck for my log air, I think, or one of them. Maps are much smaller in MR, so what I, what I think I might do is... Where is it? I can probably attach like a some type of uh, fuel carrier to this, right? So if so, I'm guessing I can. So maybe we'll, we'll just like head back this way. Maps are much smaller than MR. They didn't feel the need for support trucks so much. Okay. So Nate, do add on, not a trailer. Okay. Okay. Uh, this thing burns crazy amounts of fuel. You will need a crane. So you said you will need... A cr 
train and a station. Wait. I have the cure vets. Yeah, I found it. Wait, do I need do I need to actually manually load logs? Really? Oh dude, look at this look at this the frame flex on this thing. It's different. You can actually see it's a little bit different. Hardcore, yes. Manual, okay. Truck, truck names are awful. I think that's just what they are, what they're actually called, like in real life. At a log kiosk, yes. At a log station, no. Okay, so you basically, at a log kiosk, what you're saying is it loads it automatically for you, right? Run auto, right? I think we'll be all right with this truck. This thing is a beast, dude. I gotta say, nighttime doesn't look as good. But it's okay. It is better graphics with the better with the graphics mod, yeah. Oh, nighttime? Okay. Watch points a little bit southbound. I think it goes southbound. Are you for real? <laughs> this thing is a monster. That fuel consumption, bro. Where's the gallons per minute? <laughs> Where's the gallons per minute at? Uh, I think the watchtower is like over. Yeah, straight ahead. Ah, but where though? Oh, I see it. Black flag. Okay, log station, it's automatic. Log kiosk. I know, I'm using metric right now. I'm kind of sad face. Drive closer to the watch W, I see that message you, that you just sent. Thanks, man. I'll, uh, I'll check that out for sure. Much appreciated, W. Thank you. I'm definitely gonna check that out probably after stream. It is very loud. Okay, nice. So we have everything unlocked, guys. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm gonna head to the the garage fuel station. Uh, I want to set up like a, a fuel stop somewhere in route to like here. You know what I'm saying? But wow, this is crazy. I guess I'm just gonna go through all this all this stuff because. Yeah, whatever, we'll just make it, make it work. Wait, why does my Kolob not have 600 liters of fuel? That's a very good question. Truck names drove you mad when you played? What are they, just because they're all Soviet? So legit. That fuel burn though. Yikes, dude, no, get out of here. Get out of here. Letters and numbers aren't sub yet. Yeah, the truck's under the tarp is cool. <clears throat> <laughs> the game says you have found G49. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, I didn't go around this.
Wait, a lot of these trucks are Soviet though, right? This is vanilla, yes. Come on, you know me, Eric. I'm like the vanilla man. I'm like vanilla ice, dude. Huh. Van vanilla improv. Oh, can I just smash these down? Can I just run these down? No way. Yeah, I can feel the engine rumbling in my controller. That is crazy. They should give him the actual name. Okay. Does the 605R feel much better than an SR? I think it feels more realistic. In SR, I think the trucks just don't feel as realistic as this game. I don't know. I don't know. Fuel trailer. Wait, I can't install. Oh, that's right, it doesn't have the ability to. Yeah, it doesn't have the ability to, to have a uh, an add-on for for fuel. Just garage parts. Well, dang, it's a garage semi-trailer. Okay, so what I might do actually here is do this. Um, What is this? The C C. Take off the hitch. Oh, good thinking. But I, there's no frame. There's no frame add-on. I want a frame add-on with fuel. It's okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put the trailer. We go fill this up. We're gonna go use this as, as a uh, kind of like a support vehicle. We'll go fuel station. <clears throat> um, and then I'll probably bring this this fuel cart down to like here. I know there's probably a huge shortcut through this bog. If my if I'm guessing correctly, there's probably a huge shortcut like right through here, just cutting straight down through. But it's okay. I'm actually going to. Yeah, we'll bring him down here, and kind of like drop him off. So it'd be like a go between real quick. So we just have fuel going to and from. And then I'm gonna use probably the C. Whatever that is right there, C-375. You can just drive through the middle of the map. Maybe I should just do that. You know, maybe I just go to the logging camp. The lumber mill and actually just drop this off. Yeah, maybe I just go down here and drop this off. Or we do something like this. We go to the kiosk. Or no, the fuel. We go down. come over here maybe I'll like drop this fuel in like the center of the map or something like that like here or something like that <clears throat> I am having fun yeah I am having fun why do I think it doesn't feel realistic in SR I just feel like it's it's, it's just much more arcade-ish I feel like I mean to be honest you would never drive the speeds you drive in SnowRunner 
off-roading that fast. It just, it just wouldn't happen. It just would never happen. Fill up. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's pull some weight here. I just feel like the trucks feel better here. I, I don't want to say... How do I say this? I'm not saying the game should be realistic, okay? I think if we... The, the funny thing is, is people always say, like... They base it, like, does it feel realistic? If, if so, that's great. But the thing is, is we want realism until we actually get it. And I think if we got it, we would we would be kind of displeased. I think this does a pretty good job of, of being a good sim. Because I think, like, in a realistic sense, you would never be taking a truck at, at just at the speeds that SnowRunner can accomplish. It just... not in those conditions ever. I mean, I think... Very rare do you, like, you know, slam down into a mud pit going at speed. I know I've seen videos like that, but... I mean, usually, like, you're you're controlled going through something. I played some monitor again a couple years ago. Ended up just thinking about SnowRunner, really? Yeah, I think, but the thing is, they, you gotta understand this, is... This game right here is very niche. Like... This is not gonna capture, like, a younger, a younger audience. Do you know what I mean? Like, this, this style of, of slow gameplay is not really gonna, like, hold someone's attention... Like SnowRunner does. Or, like, Expeditions does. So, like, I believe that the days of this type of gameplay are are behind us. I just don't I don't think like I don't think this game is ever going to a game like this is ever going to exist again. Yeah, they went a futuristic direction. Yeah, you're right. They, they yeah, they're trying to capture a younger audience right now. So like, it's pretty apparent, like with the mini games, all that stuff in in uh, expeditions. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that stuff. They're just, they're just trying to capture a different a different um, audience, a younger audience. Like this is probably you know somebody that has a lot of patience and they're like a an off roading. I don't know. I don't want to say fanatic or just an off roading off roading fan. This is this is great. But yeah, they're definitely moving in a different direction. This is thick stuff down here, by the way. It's either that or this trailer is just kind of like You love the glare of the spotlight? Yeah, the little glare out outside here. This stuff out here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just doubt. I doubt they'll ever they'll ever make another game like Mud Runner. It, it's just uh, it's just not gonna happen. This is where I think I'm gonna leave it, actually. Okay, I'm guys. I'm gonna go take a quick restroom break, and then I'm going to come back down. And uh, yeah, we're gonna grab a vehicle. We're gonna start just pulling logs. So we have an ad break right now for a minute. So I'll be back here in maybe like two minutes. Is there a first person view? I don't know.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Oh, what's going on with this thing? Why is it out? Okay. Is where's the game? Okay, let's see if it's even on. All right, is the game screen up? It's it's being weird. This game with OBS is just different. It's so much different. Good, bad terrain looks the same. Yeah. Okay, screens up. Hey, cool. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's something I kind of noticed there was I was driving over like this type of surface and then all of a sudden it felt deep. But then again, <clears throat> there are some areas in SnowRunner that <clears throat> that are like that too. Okay, I actually, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to log with this truck here. With this medium log cart, I think. Yeah. I want to get this one back up to the garage. Yeah, we'll do this. I'm going to get this one back up to the garage. So what I'll do is... Um, like this. Slip through here. I'm guessing through here. Oh, dude, this is, this is probably a crazy bog, bro. Maybe I shouldn't actually cut through that. Let's not actually do that. <laughs> I think that's that's probably not a good idea. Maybe I can cut through here. And then, like, maybe, I don't know. And then maybe I can jump like this. Take a jump here, here. <clears throat> I guess. And then, uh, <clears throat> here... Here, road, and then gas, <clears throat> basically gas, oh wait, no, I don't need gas, I don't need gas at all, so we just go like this, but I need to get to this kiosk, and I don't think I can get there, but I know how, I can get there this way, okay, go like this, um, this, then maybe around. Then down. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Hey, it's daytime. Look at that. Or it's morning. Oh no. Wait, what in the world is going on? Why can I attach this? Why can I not attach this? Where is my option? Huh. What is going on? Wait, why? Anybody know why can I not attach this, this trailer? In the menu? Select the black ball. Wait, what do you mean? Black ball. It's a hitch spot. So... <clears throat> okay, gotcha. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Appreciate that. Thank you. We'll try out this truck. Or, or this setup, I guess. I don't know. Sounds good, right?
How's the gearbox compared to SR? I kind of like it. You kind of have your, your low gear. You have your... I think there's different gearboxes. I'm not sure. There might be different ones, but... You have your low gear, and this is basically like your high gear. Kind of feels like. And then you have your just your regular autos. I think. Yeah, so you have reverse, first plus, and then uh, an auto. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. The suspension on the trailer, look at that. Yeah, good point out there, W. It does look really good. It's hard to see because I don't, I don't have like a... My vision's not really great on this one. Alright, Akimoto. Thanks for stopping in, man. And we can tell, like right there, it gets really thick. <clears throat> yes, this is Mudrunner. Yep, this is the, the Mudrunner. This way. Well, it's cool. You can see the lines. Like all the way. This is definitely a bog, I'll tell you that much. The center of this map is definitely a bog. Do it first person. <clears throat> but it just shows like the HUD down here with just uh, all that stuff. Makes SR look amazing. I don't know, man. It's different. I think I think on stream it's not gonna look good. But honestly, like I'm playing with 14 1440p right now, and I think it looks good. I don't know, that's just me. Maybe I'm just like the outlier here. Or how do I refuel myself here? Maybe I need to, like, go to the other truck. How do I, how do I refuel? There we go. Okay. I have to actually go. You stupid. Just disconnected this thing. Okay, we're back. <laughs> you love the graphics, hate the color. That's fair enough. I can feel the rumbling of the engine at certain times. On my controller, it's it's kind of crazy. Yo, district, thank you for that prime sub, man. Seven months, much appreciated, man. Thank you, thank you. Seven months. And yeah, there's the cut through from east to west. Oh, that's the tower. Okay. This is actually good to see it, and uh, I guess if I go down in there, it's going to be super boggy, so that's... Looks easier than SR? Um, I don't know. Yo, Lenor, thank you so much for that tier 1 sub. Six months, man. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to let District speak on... How it feels compared to Snowrunner. I don't I don't necessarily know. I've only had like what like an hour 
an hour and a half of it in stream. In hardcore, it will be harder. In casual, it's easy. I'm a filthy casual right now, but it's okay. Gotta start somewhere. I'm getting the hang of it, though. I'm just enjoying driving around, looking at the truck. <laughs> Maps get roadblocks? Oh. Yeah, first person doesn't really have, like, the natural gauges on here. It's just uh, kind of like this. Like, a turn. So if you, so if you got logs, road. Okay, I see. Deluge by far is probably the fun yet challenging map. I've heard I've heard a lot about that actually. I've heard that it's pretty hard. How do you did you like the American Wilds? What about that one? Have you played that one yet? You probably have. You love that map, really? I think these are longs, right? Or these are short mediums, right? There we go. Four points, mediums. No, not drop load. Ah. Okay, cool. Now we're going to come back out. Boom. Ah. Uh, here, here. 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 And then here. American Wilds is cool. That's where you get logging attachments or the American DLCs and SR. Okay. You can repack it. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know you can repack. Okay. No. <clears throat> no, honestly, I've been meaning to play this. I've been meaning to, uh, to try this, actually. I think it's a combination of him, SD1. Um, so I'm actually... To be, to be honest, the person who got me this game, the reason, like, this game is installed right now is, uh, Max Power. He, uh, he originally purchased this game for me and as a gift and, and told me to try it. So it's kind of like a combination of those three kind of saying, hey, try, try to some, uh, some MR. But it's great. I'm digging it. Actually, I need to slow this down. What am I doing here? What are we doing here? I think, yeah, you got. I think everyone's been kind of asking me to play this for a long time. Honestly, man, this is crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to get out of first gear until I'm actually into some, like, decent situation. This is, you can tell it's kind of... It's definitely... Oh, no. Wow, dude.
This isn't this isn't a joke. This isn't a joke. Winch. Winch time. Hey. Um, let's see, catch winch, air, let's try this. Release winch, just go backwards. <clears throat> We're gonna back out, I'm actually gonna go along the actual trail. Let's go, attach winch, fire, let's go, not there, yes, there we go. Yikes, dude, yikes, dude. Okay, can I just get out of this gear? Okay, yes. Here we go. No OHDs here, yep, exactly. Let's go. <clears throat> when do we think the new season's gonna drop a SnowRunner? I'm, I'm probably not guessing till, till May. I'm guessing May. Wow, dude, this, this actually feels very, very heavy. This feels very heavy. Wow, this this is awesome, man. <clears throat> Can you show the local Kamaz? What in the world just happened? <laughs> I don't have any Kamazes on this map, actually. Yeah, I don't have any Kamazes currently activated. Like the cab overs, I don't have those yet. I have to. I think I have to unlock those. Can I get into into low high? No, we gotta stay low. Your new pedals just have been delivered. Nice, man. <clears throat> Oh no. I think I can crawl out of this. Alright, District, thanks for stopping in, man. Yeah, no, there's no shop. Thanks, man. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for those tips, too. You basically, the trucks you have deployed based upon your star system, I think. I think those are the trucks that you have during the, the map. Wow, dude, I just crawled out of there with the with the slow pace. That is sick. Nice, man. I, I kind of like that. It's almost like a fine-tuned. I think someone said that earlier, though. I 
That is awesome. Okay, I think I might have to just keep it in low. <laughs> you have a pedal to deliver today? B DS1? Wow, dude, that's sweet. There's also no money, that's right. W's true, that's true, W. Yeah, there's no money. Alright, we're rolling now, guys. Your wheel syncs up better than in this game, in your opinion, than SR? Wow. Oh, I gotta turn. I gotta turn. Boom. Dude, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy is that you you legitimately cannot just throw your truck at things in this game. You cannot just throw your truck at a, at a slope like that with a load like this. That is that is insane. Let's go throttle selector here. Let's roll this way. What's your currency? How you buy trucks? I think you buy trucks based upon, like, your point system. I think you have, like, a star system. I don't really understand it too much, to be honest, so... Yeah, the trailer weights are no joke right now, by the way. I mean, I legitimately, I think I have to stay in, like, low. Because I'm not going to be able to, if I sh shift out, my wheel spin is going to be too high. You know, they, they, the, the trailers feel very, very heavy. Like, you can feel it. Or, or I mean, when you throw some logs down on this thing, it feels heavy. We tend to go trailerless. Maybe that's what I should be doing. The mud squenching sound? Yeah, that's probably not the best sound, huh? It's pushing though, man. Yeah, you definitely, it's, it's crazy. You can feel weight so much in this game. You feel it. I'm like, I'm, I'm super impressed. <clears throat> I think if you play SR and that's your first game, I, I really, I really suggest playing this game now. If you're like me and you're, you don't really care too much about like running fast down trails. I think you're gonna like it. Two trips, yeah. These are mediums. I honestly I kinda like this uh this setup here. Like the mediums are are kinda like, you know, half a frame with a little trailer on the back. I kinda like it a lot actually. I'm gonna bust this down a little bit here. So you can like toggle how much how much speed you can like push up to. To not like overspin. I like this. I'm starting to learn a little bit more about this uh, gearbox too. Let me get some gas here. Stop and 
jump in the other truck, refill this truck, and then uh, we'll just continue. Let's go. Are you playing the Xbox and PC? No, I'm actually I'm actually a PS4 controller on PC, but I can't. Um, yeah, I can't show the PS4 controls because it just doesn't support it. With with mods, um, you can, but and also I'm not playing with the uh, the graphics mod right now, so. That could be something later. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Wait. We're gonna pull out of this. That get that wheel spin corrected. We're gonna pull out of this. Yep, just like SnowRunner man, drag yourself out of your current tracks and then just pull out. Lead yourself away from it. Dude, just like SnowRunner, man. That is awesome. Increase a little bit. Increase a little bit. Man. <clears throat> that is sick. What? Ledner, you've been playing guitar for years? And you've toured? What? Dude. Yo, you got that new badge I see, by the way. Ledner, that looks sweet. Nice little shot of espresso. Sub badge, I like it. Honestly, like here, it, it feels it feels as though like I, I was able to, yeah, tap into some some forward movement in the '90s. Nice, dude. That's awesome. What did you play? So you play guitar, but what uh, what kind of what genre of music? Let's see if I can kind of bust into no, I can't. Yeah. Cooking now. We're cooking now. Let's go. Pull it up the hill. Nice. What's up, potato? Welcome in. This is we're playing Mud Runner for our first time ever. It's awesome. I'm loving it. Oh, this is great. I can't wait to play the Kamaz. Playing live is an amazing experience, yes it is. Better than SnowRunner Co-op? I've heard MudRunner Co-op is better. Yes sir, Nathan is playing live right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump back into um, this right here. And then I'm just gonna reconfigure this for, for like medium logs. Yeah. Wait, unavailable. What? What? Why? Why's it unavailable for? Is this just can't ta attach this? Is it because I have a saddle? I spray a saddle. Hold on. Okay, now let's try it. Look. 
carrier. And then cart. There we go. Alright guys, we're gonna take a different truck here. We'll get some gas, go grab another set of logs. Will I do Mudrunner co-op one day? I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's do this. Stop engine for a second. Um, I need to get myself down to this. I could just go this way. I don't want to go this way, actually. To be quite honest, I don't want to go that way. Yeah, I kind of want to go. Whoa, what are the trees doing right now? They're like, move every look at this. They're like breathing. It's like Fangorn Forest. Does anybody know that reference that we just dropped there? Any any Lotar fans? I guess we'll just go around. Log station. I should play the next map on Hardcore. Dude, you guys are asking for a lot here. <laughs> you guys are asking for a lot. Yeah, there's no really wind effect in SnowRunner now. That river is traversable? Okay. I want to see how this truck does. I think this is a three star. I want to see how the three star does. Man, Mud Runner for the first time. I think what we'll do is we're going to do like installments of like episodes of like one episode will be like the bog. One episode will be like, I don't know, the next, the next one I think it's called, I'm not even sure. The valley? Is it? I don't know. Nighttime. It's kind of crazy right now. Wait, so why play the next one in hard mode? Wait, why? Guys, you're trying to send me into the, the hard mode scenario and I just started? They wish to see me suffer? Pretty much, yeah. I know. There's no auto loading in HC? Yeah, I think I, yeah, District was saying that. I figured somebody else was saying that too. This is going to be tough. But yeah, man, honestly, I think I think Mudrunner, it doesn't cost much right now on, on Steam. And I think a lot of its DLCs are free, by the way. So uh, if, if you guys want to purchase it, I think it's a good game to purchase. It's, it's DLCs are like a bunch of them are free right now. I think there might be only one DLC that's not free. And I think it's like $3 or something like that. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to say it's worth it. What are we going kilometer-wise? Five? Is it five clicks? No. Five kilometers per hour? Mudrunner was free on Epic Games a while ago. You got it that way? Nice.
Um, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm going all the way around. There we go. Kick it up a notch. Can I see my tracks? Leading that way. I'm actually going to see what the actual road looks like. Game is 20 bucks, American Wilds is 10 bucks, and other DLCs are free. Really? Okay, so the other DLCs are free, and... Okay, so it's $40. Okay, I thought it was... Huh, dang, then I got gifted a lot of... A lot of cash, then, from good old Max Power. I'm gonna have to thank him. I think it's worth it though. I don't know, I think it's worth it. How long does it take to finish the game? On sale it's usually 5 euros, that's pretty good. I don't know, um... I don't think that it takes long to finish. What is going on here? Go 50 hours. It's like a 50 hour finish. No. <laughs> I mean Max pa <laughs> Max Power is a, a content creator, actually. I don't know if a lot of people know who Max Power is. Oh. But he used to help me out a lot. Actually, when I first started reviewing trucks, he would, uh, he was another tester that would test trucks for me. Maybe, maybe Max Destro is Max Power, but he's just in here trolling me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay, let's, let's keep, let's continue here. Honestly, man, like, I feel like this game is it feels great it, it feels great you can't how this I can't just throw a truck at something and expect it to to just perform and just pull anything it, it's it's a uh, it's a lot different than that like right there on that other side, we got we just got caught up for a while on our last pull of medium. These are medium logs too. Like your wheel spin matters. Like trucks feel very heavy. Trailers feel extremely heavy. Like it. Yeah, it's it's just not a joke. I need to do this though. I need to actually stop engine and actually map this out. <clears throat> Dude, are you, are you dummy right now? Oh, that's... That's where it wants to lead me? Okay. No. Okay. Okay, let's go. What's up, Iconic? Welcome in. Y'all seen Mudrunner and Mobile? I, d I haven't seen it, no. The levels get to be very different since there's no persistent progression. Yeah. Yeah, kinda. I never thought about it that way, but that, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I need lights. There we go. <laughs> Forgot my lights. I wonder how good this truck is compared to the uh, the 4320 that I just used. So far, it feels it feels very similar, but I don't know like what star that truck is and stuff like that. So so far, it feels pretty good. 
Is every truck is the best version of itself? Yeah. Oh, okay, this is going to be different, different. So I might actually leave myself away from this. Toggle this down a little bit. And look how. There we go. Leave myself away from that little pit. No, the, the logs. Okay, kick it up a notch. Yeah, we're, we're rolling good, guys. I, I feel like they... I feel like the interaction that your truck is having feels much better. Yo, what's up, Nestack? Welcome in. Let's see if I can kick it to high. I mean, one plus. Okay, nice. Nice. We might have to drop out. Never, not, never mind, we don't. Okay, this truck is kind of good, man. You have some real blocks where you won't be able to pass through with logs. Of course, you need to take another route. Okay, nice. Yeah, it is kind of spooky at night. It seems, uh... It seems like you're just out here alone. Do you know what I'm saying? Same sounds as SR. I think a lot of these engine loops are, are very similar to SR. So, I think this engine loop is the, uh... Twin Steers. What's it called? The, uh... Westline V16, I think, M2450. On the twin steer. Release like the, the high gear sound. So how is Mudrunner? Is it like spin tires in some way? Um, I never played spin tires, but I can tell you that this feels very good. I absolutely enjoy this. I can't believe it's taking me so long to actually play this. The same with the 5600 TS, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe it's taking me so long to play this. But I'm, I'm glad I have. Oh, nope. Can't do that. Too much wheel spin. Too much bog. And then, it's, it's like what you were talking about yesterday. Like, there's no way... Like, I know there's been, like, some old, like, the older fans of this of this series, like, they're, they're caught kind of uh, hoping that they return to their roots, and I think I'm, even though this is, I kind of agree. Let me see if I can leave myself out of this one second. I don't know if I can actually get out of this. I might be able to lead myself away from this. Yeah, I can. What's up, Larpop? Welcome in. Feels pretty similar to spin tires. I think I can get out of this. Yeah, I can. I just gotta lead myself out of this track. Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Watch, watch. It'll lead. It'll, I'll lead myself away. Just watch, watch. I'm just gonna lead myself out of those those current tracks, and it's fine. Yeah, there you go. See. That's all you have to do. Same thing with Snowrunner. Same thing with SnowRunner, just lead yourself away from your tracks. It still applies. That's awesome though. SR was too overwhelming, underwhelming at the time. Um, I just think they're, they're slowly trying to get a younger audience to play the game. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what they're doing. They're, they're, I mean, you can see from the evolution of of the game right now, like SnowRunner is, is a, definitely a little bit more fast-paced, um, much more trucks. And then, yeah, Expeditions is not as fast-paced, but it has those mini-games and stuff like that to kind of tailor to like a younger crowd, I guess. Oh, dude, like, can, I get, can I get up through this? I'm gonna try to like lead myself away from these tracks actually. I 
including members of the modding community. Yeah, you're probably right. It probably can be done. It worked for you, you're hooked. Yeah. Increase weight, decrease speed, decrease power, disable terrain wetness. I wonder I wonder if that can be done like can that connect connect quickly be done? Like can that easily be done, Dave? I need to actually like try to get close to this truck so I, I'm not like totally in the mud here. Yo, daytime approaches. No! How do I? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, dude. Wait, how do I pack? Wait, how do I pack this stuff? Start engine. I think I'm just like this, right? Oh my goodness, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness, dude. Ready to pack? Okay, cool. We're packed. Ah, oh, so weird, dude. Oh, that was so weird. Okay, um, let's go. Like, suitable for the under fives? No, I mean, like, younger, like, the people who... who more or less, like, play... very, very popular games. You watch a streamer? I've been watching him play GTA 4 with traffic speed tuned up. 100% wow, that's crazy. To me, it feels very similar to. Wait, Dave, you've done it? Have you done that yet? It looks like a horror movie setting, kind of, right? Okay, so let's roll. I like this truck though. I like both the trucks I just uh, I just delivered with. I'm very interested to see how the other Kamaz trucks actually operate. Very, very interested. whole game but in mud runner the whole game is played in low low plus yeah i mean i think that's realistic though i think that's i don't i don't think you would like if you're delivering all this stuff in the backwoods like normally you wouldn't be flying in any setting you know what i'm saying how many dlcs does mud runner have i forget there's a couple i think there's like three or four right Like, if you were driving this truck, there's no way that you can get to that the speed that you would want to achieve. Three or three? Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this a lot. Let's go. Nice, dude. I think the other truck had a little less, a little less issues. I, sh I don't know, maybe not. They kind of felt very similar. The C-375 and the, the other one. Let's go, dude. 
We're jamming out here, dude. Here we go, guys. Two hours, bro. Seven trucks unlocked, two garages unlocked, four watch points found. Let's go! The music is sick. I love it. <laughs> this is sweet. All right, let's go to... So the bog, we have everything done, right? I think island is next. I think seashore is after that. I don't have progression. What? What? I don't know. Valley is a DLC. The ridge is a DLC. Rocky Hills is a DLC. I think the island is actually the next one you'd, you'd actually go into. Let me, let me see what this trucks have in here. How do I unlock other trucks? Do I get balance points? Wait, where's my balance points, dude? Progression points. What? How many progression points did I get? I want to play a Kamaz. Oh, wait, there's one. There's one. There's the good old GMC. I want this one right here, man. This is what I want in SnowRunner right here. The 6511. This is what I want right here. This is the truck I want in SnowRunner so bad. This or the, the 4310. They have the forwarder here. Yikes. Actually, I might... I'll put this on here too. I want to do like a, an all one star at one point. That's a sick one. Okay, so I basically have to just unlock these. I basically have to just unlock these. Five three eight. Wow. Okay. You can't wait to go back home and play Blood Runner tonight, dude. This looks so cool, bro. Like, why can't we get something like this in Snow Runner? Like, look at this. A nice, like, a straight up medium truck. I'm gonna drive this around a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to actually like, play the second map. I think we're going to do kind of like uh, <clears throat> like episode by episode each map. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to dive into this map today, to be honest. I think what we'll do is every day we'll, we'll kind of like just finish a map because they're kind of... I want to see a little bit of driving action for this thing to go first. Oh, it only has... It doesn't have diff... Oh, it does have diff lock. Okay. Looks good, man. You can see the frame flexing. I just kind of want to... Oh, man, this looks so good. I 
This looks so good. Looks like it's pretty good consumption too. I mean, I'm excited to play this tomorrow, actually. I'm excited to play this. Yeah, I'm excited to play this. So yeah, um, basically that is it for today. I'm going to end the stream here, but tomorrow we're going to start the island. Um, yeah, and we'll, we're going to do another episode. So tomorrow is going to be the island incomplete. And then every, basically every stream day, I'm just going to go through and just complete these. So I think that's what we're going to do a little bit moving forward until, uh, until we get some new updates for SnowRunner and stuff like that. And then we'll also probably throw in like a variety stream and do some other stuff. But yeah, I've had a blast playing this guys. Um, for anyone who suggested playing this, thank you guys so much. This is great. I can't believe it's taking me this long to actually do this. So tomorrow, yeah, we'll be jumping in the scout right here. Going around, scouting some stuff out. We'll be using this smaller truck too as well. I'm going to try to get him into the game a little bit here too instead of just using this one. So yeah, a man with a plan, that's right. But anyways, you guys, uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping in today. It's been, it's been great. So you guys have a wonderful day today. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the Thursday stream. Same time, same place, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until then, guys, God bless and stay upright. We'll see you.